for her to basically turn her back on that oath is unthinkable. My name is Tony Bannister. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And I served in the Air Force and Air National Guard from 1978 until 1984. And uh, I was Airman First Class. My senator is Martha McSally. My friend, Martha McSally. She's the real deal. She's tough. Like our president, I'm tired of PC politicians and their BS excuses. Do you think it was appropriate for the president to solicit help from a foreign leader to research a potential political uh, foe? Yeah, again, what I'm concerned about is how there were decisions made about moving forward and using the I word, which is very serious business for our country. It's a very solemn topic that's only happened a few times uh, without, they, without them even seeing the fact. Arizona Republican Senator Martha McSally is still ducking questions about the president and the impeachment inquiry. If you would be willing to ask a foreign country to dig up political dirt on Dennis, your opponent. The, the House is doing what they're doing. In the meantime, the Senate is doing our work in order to do what matters. That includes addressing the Alzheimer's. Right, Thanks, Thanks, guys. She knows that's wrong because she didn't want to answer that question. She took an oath a number of times. Every single time that she re-enlisted, she took the same oath. The core of who I am is to stand up for what's right, regardless of the personal cost. I took an oath of office to the Constitution of the United States to defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. For her to basically turn her back on that oath is unthinkable. The our democracy right now is hanging on by a thread. If we don't get back into a direction of fighting for this democracy and upholding this democracy, I, it will go. I have, as I'm sure many Americans have, taken all of our liberties and our freedoms for granted. But the truth of the matter comes down to, we are a nation that tries to promote democracy and freedom for everybody. When I enlisted in the Air Force, when they take the, the, um, the flag down at the end of the day at dusk, I can remember standing there saluting and uh, crying because I felt this huge sense of gratitude for the country that I was living in. The idea that, that anybody would stand by and watch this precious thing that has been fought for and fought for and fought for slip away is infuriating to me. The oath, it is an oath, an oath that should be lived your entire life from the moment you take it.